Do you ever feel that Mexicans who speak Spanish here kind of look down on you or are kind of upset with you because you're Hispanic but don't speak Spanish? Yeah, I guess they, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Mexicans like that. A lot of new generation Mexicans come down. You know, if the other cultures who have more, or not other, all the families who've had third or fourth generation here, they don't really, they know what happens, but, uh, yeah, we've had a lot of Mexicans kind of like, always, they always either talk shit up about me in Spanish, or they come and tell me like, hey, you know, like, why don't you speak Spanish, or what's wrong with you, or what's wrong with your parents, like, um, like they did something wrong, but, you know, they don't understand the, the time frame that for my parents who were in the 60s or 70s, and. You know, they don't understand the whole assimilation that takes place. Or that by the third or fourth generation, like, usually Spanish is gone. Do you know what generation you are? Like, uh, mm. which, wh like, how far back your the I'm parents... I'm like fourth generation. So your great-grandparents, probably? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my, because, yeah, both sides. My, because my grandpa really was more American um, on my mom's side. Same thing with my grandma. Um, but my grandpa, mainly, because I don't know too much of my grandma's history, but my gra my grandpa was that his mom, my so my great grandma got basically wanted to get him into America, and so she got him to boarding school from like the time he was third or fourth grade. And so she stayed in New Mexico, got working, and got all her nine kids up in America, and then you know my you know so then my my grandparents. That's one side of the story. And the same thing with my dad's side, my grandma. Uh, they left Mexico during the time of Pancho Villa. Came across here, and then uh, yeah, started a life. And then my grandma was American, and then my dad's American. So yeah, fourth generation, both sides. Uh, do you feel that people from Mexico look down on you for not knowing Spanish? Yes, they do. Can you give an example of that? I got that. That's why they call us a certain name, call us pochos, meaning that we're Mexicans, but not true Mexicans from Mexico, you know, that we're Mexican-Americans, and that, uh, that we should be ashamed that we don't speak Spanish. Do you look down on people who are of Mexican descent who don't speak Spanish? No. No? Do you get upset with people who are their the children of Mexican immigrants or their ancestors are Mexicans but they live in America and they don't speak Spanish? Mm. Well, my father speaks Spanish too. My son, my daughter, uh -huh. they were born here in America. But you know like, you know like people who are born here, yeah. they're Mex their parents are Mexican but their parents didn't teach them Spanish. Uh, that's bad because they have to speak all languages, you know? Why? Well, Get better jobs like yeah, that, you know. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, they don't speak Spanish, so you can get a good job. Either. Well, if you get a good job, you know, the, they can explain to the other people, you know, something, you know, you need something else. So that's good to speak both English. So you think it's better to speak both, but you don't think it's bad to only speak English? Oh, no, no. It's the same, you know. It depends on, you know. Somebody wants to speak English or Spanish, whatever. You know.